Thousands of protesters gathered in front of the prime minister's office today. They were demonstrating against government plans to loosen restraints on Japan's pacifist constitution. On Sunday, a man set himself on fire at Tokyo's biggest train station to protest the proposed changes. He's in critical condition. Shinzo Abe's cabinet is expected to adopt a plan to allow Japanese armed forces to operate away from the country's territory to support allies. The change is aimed at checking China's military rise. A public opinion poll shows half opposed any changes to the constitution. 34 percent support the change. Xu Sai Ho, a former general and vice chairman of the powerful military commission, is charged with graft. He's accused of taking money and property worth seven million dollars in exchange for promotions and other favors. He'd been under investigation for a year. Xu is the latest senior soldier caught up in a wide-ranging anti-corruption campaign. China says 10,000 officials have been charged with corruption since the campaign began two years ago. The Pakistani army says it has launched a ground offensive on a northwestern city considered a key Taliban stronghold. A military statement said operations have begun around Miran Shah, the main town in the tribal region bordering Afghanistan. The move follows airstrikes that the army claims killed 370 militants. The ground assault comes three weeks after militants attacked Pakistan's largest airport in Karachi and another in Peshawar. Angry fans tossed handfuls of toffee at the South Korean team on their arrival home. Fans were furious at the team's poor showing at the World Cup in Brazil. South Korea didn't win a single game, its worst showing since 1998. Throwing toffee is the Korean equivalent of showing someone the middle finger. Hi, I'm Tui Vu, the host of Link Asia. Catch Link Asia every Friday on Link TV, 9.30 p.m. Eastern, 6.30 p.m. Pacific. Check our website for local listings on KCET Los Angeles and PBS's The World Channel.